Hello future product sellers, welcome back to another training tutorial from How to Webmaster. Today is part 5.2 in my tutorial training. And in part 5, we already set up the, the HTML sales page and already the thank you page. And today we're going to focus on creating an upsell or downsell sales page. And that will complete our sales funnel setup. And the upsell downsell is actually not that scary at all. It's basically just another sales page that your customer will see after buying the main front end product. So here's an example. So again, we're going to be using templates to make it super easy to set up. Otherwise, coming up with your own upsell page may be a little bit difficult and technical. So I'm going to give you about eight of these one time offers upsell pages that you can use and I'll leave the download link below it's free if you want to use these and here are the eight one time offer templates they're basically HTML and it also comes with a PSD Photoshop version for you to edit as well and I'm not gonna go over the Photoshop editing I'm only going to use uh, HTML editor to edit the uh, one-time offer sell upsell pages. And I'm going to show you now an, a live example of my uh, own sales funnel. So here for this offer, I'm selling the front end right here. It's called the Big Epic Video Graphics Package. That's the front end and then I have these three other products here. These are upsells and downsell. And you can go down here to see the offer map which is your sales funnel map. So it's nicely laid out. Here is my front end. So the customer or the visitor comes here. If they buy my front end, they will see my one-time offer upsell, which is a mascot creator product. So here, let's take a look. So this is the front end, and this is actually a POR product. So it was already a nice package, the sales page and everything. So this is the front end, and here is the one-time offer upsell, number one. This is also a POR product, and it comes with its own sales page. So I didn't use templates for my own upsell because it was pretty easy to just, pretty much you just need something at the top that says wait before you access your whatever product. It's the main product, the front end here. I would like to offer you a special one-time offer. So this is the upsell. And then to skip this offer, please scroll to the bottom of the page. So that way they have to scroll and read your offer. So if it catches their attention, then they buy it. And then at the bottom here, skip this page and you may never see this offer again. Again, that's just to create urgency and scarcity and then they click here no thanks I don't want this special offer please take me to the download page so that's two elements you need with an upsell or downsell page you need something at the bottom that allows them to uh, click and move on I call this the no thank you link and then something up here at the header to signify or to tell people that this is an offer, a one-time offer that they need to see before proceeding to their purchases or their download. So again, it's a similar element to these. So wait, you will never see this page again. Wait before you continue. So these give you some ideas and to try out for your upsell, downsell. Okay, so next, so if they buy my mascot creator, they will see my next product which is 5,000 stock photos so let's go down here so if they buy this they will see my next upsell so stop I have another special offer and to skip this offer please scroll down to the bottom to uh, continue and here is just basically the sales page I just copy and paste my exact sales page for this particular product which I sold at at a different time and I just copy and paste the exact sales page and then put it right underneath my upsell header up here 
down here same thing you have warning if you skip this page you may never see this offer again and then down here no thanks a no thanks link this time it will lead to my downsell which is a discount and that actually let's take a step back to so the mascot creator which is this one right here so if they click on no thanks they would actually I set it up so that they will also see my upsell of the 5,000 stock photos package so you can see in the map here whether they buy this upsell to go to the next upsell or they decline no thank you it will still go to the same offer so no matter what so this is kind of a strategy that I use whether they buy it or they don't buy it no matter what they will always see the upsell so that's a strategy that you can use as well and now for the one-time offer this is my one-time offer number two the 5,000 stock photo so if they buy this one in the map here you see there's no blue line or no blue arrow so there's no upsell after this if they buy it they will lead it will lead to the uh, the warrior plus uh, members area where they can proceed and download all of their purchases but if they click on the no thank you downsell so they click here no thank you it will go here for the discount five dollars off and it's the same product but they get five dollars off so it's another strategy you can use so let's go back here so this stock photos seventeen dollars so if they click no they get a discount five dollars off this down sell or discount five dollars off is the exact same sales page so besides the header but everything else so stop you get five dollars off everything else down here is the exact same sales page as this one okay now let's begin to set up our upsell page and I'm going to show you a couple of ways to do it First, let's open our main sales page that I've uh, created in the previous tutorial training. So if you haven't seen that, you might wanna check that out. Go up here to File, Open File, or Control-O, and navigate to your sales page. So right here, my index HTML, and this is the one that, that I used to create this example sales page, and now, to create the upsell, let's do a file save as, and then I'm gonna call this upsell. So I'm gonna be using the exact same sales page. If you decided to go with a POR product rebrand and it happened to already have an upsell page for you, that's great, go ahead and use that. Otherwise, you can use this strategy to create your own upsell page. Basically gonna use my normal strategy where I just add in just the top part here I'm gonna copy this go to my composer and just paste it in or just control V okay just like that and it looks kind of messed up with the background highlighted go ahead and highlight the text and then click up here where it says highlight and you can go let's just go transparent and there it is so let's save this control s and now we can let's go to the upsell that i just created so just open that it'll open in your browser and there it is just a simple upsell and now we still have to add in the bottom part to skip this page you may never see this offer again so let's add it to the bottom center it and now again the highlighting background problem you can make it white uh, it doesn't matter whatever works so I don't want any extra spaces okay nice and organized okay so that's pretty much it let's control s and uh, let's reload this so we can see 
down here we have skip this page they can buy it or skip the page and again the buns the buy buns and the no thank you bun we're gonna set that up later once we actually set up the product listing at Warrior Plus, JVZoo, or ClickBank. So right now, don't worry about the linking or the links. Make sure if you're going to copy and paste, you need to change out the product name before you access the product name, whatever it is. I would like to offer you this one-time special offer, and you can use this exact same text if you want. And obviously, you're going to need to edit out or copy paste the next sales page for your upsell product, whatever it is you're trying to upsell. You make sure you add in the appropriate text and images and change out whatever is needed. But the idea of the upsell, that's what it is. You just need this part and the bottom part. That's pretty much the upsell page. Okay, now if you want to use a template and you want to use something like this for your upsells, so you pick out the one you want and then just copy. So these are the templates that I'm giving you. Uh, you can download those below in the video description. I'll leave a link there. And now let's go to the sales page. So this is my sales page folder. Let's paste in my upsell folder template here and let's rename this to upsell just to keep it organized in composer navigate to the upsell folder open that up so here is the same template and the one thing that is missing is the bottom part so make sure you add that in just like that and also the top part so you still need that otherwise people will not know how to proceed to download their product so even with the template you still need at least this part to skip please scroll down to the bottom and then at the bottom you need to add this text as well and now for the the actual sales page again you can copy and paste from another sales page or use your own or write your own it doesn't matter up to you so I'm just gonna copy and paste just like that and the thing with copy and pasting it you sometimes if you highlight the entire sales page and then paste it into your another completely different template it may break it up so what I do is just, just copy and paste in parts and if it breaks up, then just copy a little bit less of it. So let's go down here and paste in the next part. Okay, and then we continue. So you get the idea. Okay, so that's how it works with this method. So you can use the template and now let's try to load it up. So this is my upsell, okay. And there it is. And again, you can, if you want to change the text, say make it bigger or smaller. So let's highlight this. You can go here to make the text bigger. Let's save and reload. So there it is, make it bigger. And okay, to make the downsell, it's actually, again, really simple. Let's go to the upsell page right here. Let's do a file, save as and we're gonna call this downsell or let's call it discount and you can actually it doesn't matter you can call it downsell if you want so with the discount is so I'm gonna use this strategy right here get five dollars off and instantly you pay only whatever five dollars off ten dollars off whatever you want I like this okay and paste it in just like that and let's delete that part Let's center and again with the highlighting okay remove the highlighting just like before and let's center this okay so get five dollars off and then the buy button will deal with that later so let's delete that and just pretend we have a buy button here and then down here is your uh, the exact same product but $12 or the discounted so that's up to you 
so I hope you get the idea of the upsell and downsell and also for people that are just launching or creating the products for the first time I just recommend just to have uh, keep it simple just have one upsell and one downsell and you don't want too many upsells and downsells as your first launch the sales funnel can get a little bit wild and we already created the thank you page for our main product and also our thank you page for the upsell product in the previous video okay that's pretty much conclude the part 5 the entire part 5 sales funnel setup uh, just make sure you complete your sales pages and upsell pages and thank you pages because in uh, part 6 we're gonna start with uploading the site files and I'm gonna briefly go over how to connect your domain and your name servers from your web hosting company and then we're gonna use FTP software free to upload your site files that's in part 6 okay uh, thanks so much for viewing let me know if you guys have any questions comments and be sure to subscribe to my channel how to webmaster for more tips tricks and tutorial training on selling products online and internet marketing thanks so much and until next time happy marketing